في هذا الكوز سأتحدث عن بلادز انت بتيجي في عام 2018 ان شاء الله That class of 2018 of new drugs. Lad that had 64. Ma bayna new molecular entities, including breakthrough drugs or priority review, or accelerated or 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 even line extensions. بالنسبة لدراجس بعض الأخرى. في جزء الأكبر منها نزل بالماركت مينلي إن ذا يو إس في عام ألف ألفين و تسعتاشر سوري أنا آسف في عام ألفين وتمنتاشر وجزء أبروت بات نوت لاونشد يت الكاركترستكس اللي بنجد إن إحنا عندنا في الكلاسيفيكيشن نجد إنه الكانسر دراجز accounting for twenty five almost ربع ال amount of drugs that have been introduced. و ااا وسواء كان small molecules أو biologics. Eight first in in class. The first are witnessing the first the first are in a small or short in Interfering or in a drug في هذه السنة وأيضا ثلاثة مم ثلاثة drugs members radically different from the class of non-vasoconstricting anti-migraine drugs اللي إحنا تعودنا عليه ومدرسنا قبل كده وهم عبارة عن مجموعة من monoclonal antibodies ثلاثة monoclonal antibodies والمود of action بتاعهم بالنسبة للانتي كان سيما G related بيبتايد سي جي ار بي مونوكلونال انتي انتي بوكس بنجد على البلطه حوالي ربع سوري حوالي تلت الدراجز عباره عن اورفان اورفان دراجز والمينلي انتروداكشن في لاونشت في اليونايتد ستيت Well, this shows the trend among uh, the most innovative, uh, very low percentage regard to the rest of the group, which are mainly line extensions or me too drugs. The same applies for the drugs of uh, 1917 and, uh, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, uh, for uh, 20, 2017, 2018, and also 20. طبعا هذا السلايد بين الانتروداكشن من 2008 الى 2018 في 10 سنين و 11 سنه الاخيره ونجد ان الترند اللي موجود عندنا ان الامينولوجيك وكانسر دراجز هم اكثر مجموعه في هذا المجال ويليهم الانتي انفكتيف ايجنتس هنا نرى الانتروداكشنز اهم كاركترستيك فيها انه بتبين لنا الترند اللي موجود بالنسبه للثيرابيوتيك بايولوجيكس ففي عام 2018 17 اوت اوف 59 من الدراجز وير ثيرابيوتيك بايولوجيكس. هنا بتبين لنا عند الديستريبيوشن بتاع الانتروداكشنز في هذه السنة امونجست كونتريز نلاحظ انه طبعا هنا بنجد انه جابان انتروديوست 16% اكتر من ضعف ما انتروديوست باي اي يو كونتريز 24 اي يو كونتريز تقريبا وايضا تشاينا introduced more than the number of drugs more than that were introduced by large in countries in EU. By launching time for the United States, how many till ten? Well, by about the time other countries, including Korea, India, India, whatever. Okay.
Here there will be classes that was introduced, as was pointed out before. We talked about the heart uh, majority on oncology, which would include um, immunosuppressives, phase level, uh, uh, phase level ATC code, uh, followed by infectious diseases, and then it goes all the way through up to the large number of compounds in, in the area of uh, cardiology. Well, this is uh, self-explanatory. Uh, illustrating the trend in introduction uh, as of uh, 2014 up to uh, 2018, and uh, the different phases in class breakthrough therapy and so on. This uh, well, uh, this slide shows. Uh, Again, the same distribution of uh, different uh, drugs, uh, small molecules, which would include, again, the amino um, as a, a peptides up to about around 40 amino acids, and the oligos, the oligonic peptides, versus the large uh, therapeutic proteins, including larger peptides, and the monoclonal antibodies, ADCs, etc. Now, this group of drugs, uh, according, are classified according to their uh, chemistry, uh, which doesn't really mean much because we can find the drugs having the same nucleus. Uh, uh, but nevertheless have different uh, targets, different pharmacopoles, and different, of course, different uh, indication. We say inspired, that 16% are inspired by natural products. It doesn't mean that they are natural products, but modeled after or related to the uh, natural uh, products. Well, this shows the Biologics introduced in, in, the, in that year, most of them are monoclonal antibodies, as you can see, and other biologics, larger proteins, pigylated enzymes to make the to make the protein or the enzyme. In this case of the prolonged activity, fusion uh, fusion protein, uh, and and so on. We'll come to each one of these and uh, see how it works and its uh, drug design aspects. Well, uh, this shows the chemical structure of the first uh, small or short interfering RNA uh, introduced in this year, ever introduced in this year, and uh, to the therapeutic armamentarium, and which is actually acted, it is a double stranded uh, interfering small uh, SIRNA. You will observe that the, the these two letters SI are built in the INN name, so you don't have to memorize that this compound is a, an SIRNA, but we can f figure that out by finding this infix in the name of the, in the INN name of the drug, and it interacts with transthyretine uh, uh, messenger RNA, thus stopping the process which is leading to the formation of amyl amyloidosis. Well, uh, this is the structure of the of the uh, you know tercen, uh, you know, is farther than uh, uh, stem. Then this means that it is an oligonucleotide. We covered some of this before in the uh, in the lecture, and as you can see. Uh, 
this is a single strand uh, compound, single strand compared to the siRNA, which is double stranded, putting the sense and the anti sense uh, strands, and it is a modified oligo. Uh, nucleopide used for the same indication as the SIRNA uh, drug in the management of amyloidosis. Now, this illustrates how actually this SIRNA uh, drug uh, works uh, inside, the, inside the body. Uh, then the siRNA is uh, manipulated by the uh, dicer in order to form the to to get the two the uh, the uh, double strand apart into two uh, into two strands, which then it is interacted with the messenger RNA of the cell, cell resulting in gene silencing. And uh, thus preventing protein protein misfolding, which leads to human method ATTR uh, amyloidosis. Okay, we we'll move from the double stranded siRNA to the single stranded antisense oligonucleotide, which uh, does have the stem uh, version. Uh, RSEN, and thus the act that which is characteristic of by the of the INN names of all oligo uh, nuclear nucleotides, and it the end result that interacts and prevents the misfolding of the protein in the same way the siRNA, but using this single stranded uh, compound rather than doubly stranded. Uh, SIRNA, thus used to manage the uh, uh, unusual uh, transthyretine uh, amyloidosis. Well, uh, this compound, this is actually the first uh, <coughs> radiopharmaceutical uh, that you are introduced to. Uh, if you go back to your project, you'll find that uh, uh, about 40 students are assigned a project containing uh, a radio project consisting of a radio pharmaceuticals. We'll have to refer what we have learned uh, so far about uh, radio pharmacy in uh, general and uh, by referring to the uh, tutorial uh, component handling this component of the course. And then we'll have the, we'll have to uh, differentiate between the type of radiation that is emitted and whether it is used for diagnostic uh, for diagnosis or for uh, treatment. This compound, as you can see, how do you know it's the first level first level uh, <coughs> first level HC code is V. This Vegas, and accordingly, it is a which includes the diagnostic, diagnostic, the diagnosis of what, diagnosis of genetic uh, uh, or gastro, entero, pancreatic, uh, neuro, endocrine uh, tumors. Accordingly, what is the radio pharmaceutical? Pharmaceutical nutrition one seventy seven. And then we have to do for each pharmaceutical have to know the decay, how it is produced, and then the decay, how it decays, and what type of radiation it uh, it emits. And well, now the chelated radio pharmaceutical with this uh, tetra azacyclododecane uh, chelator is covalently linked to a somatostatin analog so, so as to direct the radio pharmaceutical into the uh, to direct the radio pharmaceutical into the uh, in, into the uh, uh. into the t tumor 
via this somatostatin uh, analog. We'll have to know while learning it the type of uh, units used uh, and to convert from uh, becquerel to millicurie uh, co co uh, unit in uh, this uh, compound. Okay, uh, then the next. Well, here we have the tetracycline uh, derivatives introduced uh, during uh, uh, 18. Of course, all of them will have the tetracycline nucleus and they vary in substituent type at the particular uh, position. And accordingly, they are used for different indications. For example, uh, the first one, uh, error vericycline, is, is, is used for co co management of uh, complicated, uh, complicated abdominal uh, infection. Where, while the second omatocycline is used to manage community acquired uh, bacterial pneumonia, and, uh, <laughs> sorry, pneumonia, and as well as uh, bacterial skin and uh, skin structure uh, infection. While the third one is used to manage, is used to manage severe acne uh, Okay. Uh, next. Well, here we have what uh, the slide says are related to a uh, two compounds related structurally to uh, carbohydrates. One is an amino uh, amino sugar of the uh, Amino, uh, amino glycosides, uh, antibiotic uh, class, and uh, the other used for the urinary tract infections, which does not respond positively to other uh, other antibiotics. And the second, the, the, the this one is a megalostat, which is a regulator of alpha galacto. Uh, cydase, the enzyme which is involved in, in Fabry's disease, which is a lysosomal uh, disease. <clears throat> Here we have two, uh, two compounds uh, one in the rifamycin, which is, uh, reminds you of the Refamcine used for the management of uh, uh, TB, and uh, which is produced uh, by Medicines Development for Global Health, which is a charity, non NGO, uh, concerned with the treatment of developing drugs for the treatment of what's called neglected tropical uh, diseases. Uh, because uh, many companies usually refrain from getting involved in uh, these neglected tropical diseases because they wouldn't have a return on their investment uh, because mainly they are very predominant uh, in, very un in underdeveloped countries, mainly in Africa, South East Asian, uh, poor. Uh, uh, countries. And uh, the the second one is the moxadectin, which is an, an, an anthomycin antibacterial used for the management of problems. Uh, diarrhea. This may bring to your attention that one of the vermectin, not the dectins, uh, is, uh, is an investigation of the drug uh, in which in vitro affects uh, affects the COVID-19. Uh, we'll get to that when we study the drugs used in the investigation of the drugs used in the management for uh, COVID-19. Well, <clears throat> Here we have a combination uh, contraceptive drug consisting of, a, as usual, like, like all fixed dose combination oral contraceptives. It contains a ethanol estradiol, 
and a progestational agent, which is a new molecular entity in this case. Now, this is what is used an estrogen and progestin combination product used in combination all the way through all used consequentially. This is what we know about from previous uh, studies. Now we have the same type of combination containing the uh, estra, uh, ethanol estradiol and a progestational agent, but in this case, it is a drug eluting device. In other, in other words, it is, uh, it, it is contained in a biodegradable, uh, flexible, opaque, white trigonal system uh, in the form of a, a ring, and it is patient controlled. In other words, that the lady using the compound, uh, this type of uh, device uh, is uh, it actually it's patient controlled. Uh, one, it doesn't need that you have to go to an OBGYN. Uh, specialist uh, in order to uh, conduct this procedure of inserting the uh, the device, and it will have it, it's used patient control for 21 days in and seven days uh, out. These two drugs are used for the management of a subclass of uh, epilepsy, that's the drug syndrome, uh, and uh, they, that consists of the, the first of the first cannabis uh, uh, the, 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 the cannabis derivative. Uh, that's marketed uh, worldwide, cannabis derivative, and the second one is a the GABA reuptake uh, modulator. In this case inhibitor used for the uh, same uh, indication. Well, this uh, map, uh, Ibalizu map, so humanized uh, monoclonal antibody used for the management, actually the first monoclonal antibody used for the management of HIV. All the type of compounds that we have for the management of HIV, irrespective of where they act, as per the uh, <clears throat> HIV life cycle, which we did a study already, uh, are small uh, molecules. Okay, with the exception, of course, of the uh, infubertide, which is a fusion uh, inhibitor. Now, this monoclonal antibody, monoclonal antibody, the first monoclonal antibody used for this indication, uh, it acts by whether by a binding to CCD4, uh, CD4 as shown in the next uh, slide. Well, this shows how a Belizumab uh, acts at the molecular uh, level. Uh, as shown in here, actually the final step of uh, the action of this compound involves the uh, uh, involves the ability is believed to inhibit uh, CD4 bound GP122 from attaching to either CCR5 or, or CXCR for the chemokine uh, receptor for which, as we know, we have uh, entry inhibitors of these two chemical receptors uh, already uh, studied. This is a fixed dose combination uh, of the uh, drugs used for the management of uh, HIV, including an integrase, uh, this integrase uh, inhibitor, along with uh, nucleotide, nucleoside, 
nucleotide nucleotide nucleoside uh, <clears throat> the wave strands cryptase inhibitor we'll have a, the, okay so what's new all these class of compounds have been introduced before except for this one which is a the, the small uh, actually this combination is the smallest of them all in terms of the number of a uh, APIs and this is given once daily. It doesn't need a pharmacoenhancers such as a ritonavir, uh, and it doesn't need a pharmaco uh, bo booster uh, in this case. So this is the advantage of this uh, combination, uh, and. Uh, uh, it, it is not actually a breakthrough or a compound. It okay, has been uh, given a priority uh, review status. Another fixed dose combination used for the management of chemotherapy induced uh, emesis, combining two drugs acting in two different uh, receptors, namely the 5H1. Uh, HD1 uh, uh, receptor and the neurokinin uh, receptor. Uh, well, this is a breakthrough uh, combination therapy used for the management of cystic uh, fibrosis uh, produced by the same company that. Uh, several years ago produced the Luma factor, which is a CFTR uh, corrector, uh, and it combines its newer uh, TESA factor, which is another new uh, uh, CFTR corrector, with the CFTR potentiator Evacaftor, uh, which acts as a chaperone for the mutated uh, CFTR uh, receptor. Now, uh, why we use this combination? It broadens the scope of uh, management of CFTR because if we use the corrector alone, then we'll have to be dealing with actually the mutate only one mutation, which is the F. F uh, I think 508 uh, deletion. However, the presentations of this cystic fibrosis involve so many other mutations. When the CFTR is potentiated, it broadens its scope of application. As, as shown here, it, it involves the chloride channel uh, illustrated in here. When the CFTR the uh, uh, chloride and I anti cannot move freely in and out of the cell, producing thus producing more mucus and the other manifestations of the CFTR cystic uh, fibrosis. Here we have the non-steroidal anti-androgenic compounds used for the management of. Uh, prostate uh, cancer along with it in conjunction with uh, castration. I mean, this is a sort of new molecular entity, but we already in this class, we have several uh, non-steroidal anti-endogenic anti compounds used for the same indication such as uh, this one and a uh, few others. Now, this compound is for the pain, uh, management of pain associated with endometriosis uh, via being a GnRH receptor uh, antagonist. Uh, there isn't much to say about it. Okay. Now, this is the anti infective uh, drug and uh, <clears throat> the, the uh, <clears throat> uh, Dogavigan, which is an NNRTI uh, uh, RTI for HIV, usually in combination with other uh, 
uh, other let's call the management of HI uh, HIV. Uh, this the amino quinoline derivative uh, for the um, Now, again, uh, dogavirin, the NNRTI, usually in combination with other uh, HIV various uh, 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 inhibitors uh, for the management of uh, HIV for HIV infection in naive uh, patient, who, i.e., who those who did not receive anti-HIV therapy. Uh, prior to the use of this combination. The venocaine is the eta aminocholinine anti-malarial, and the verimat is used for the management of a uh, small, uh, small box. Oh, now, the, this is a reminder of the life cycle of HIV, which shows you where the NNRTIs were, work and uh, how the, this new uh, compound, which is usually in combination with other uh, HIV active drug for naive uh, patients. Now, here we have a product which is uh, introduced into the market by a non-governmental organization, a charity, the Medicines for Valeria Maria Mixture, uh, based on the concept of the repurposing, which we discussed at the first uh, uh, three lectures of, the, uh, of the, this uh, course, and it being an 8 amino quinoline uh, derivatives used for the management of a given uh, form of the parasite life cycle of the uh, parasite. Well, this is the compound is used for the anti-infective for the management of small box, and uh, it is mainly uh, used uh, because, uh, in preparedness for biological attacks involving that may involve small pox because uh, globally smallpox is practically eradicated throughout the world. However, it is being used by Certain uh, say governments uh, involved in the production of biological uh, work, uh, warfare, and it acts by modifying by by uh, acting. It acts on B thirty seven, which is a uh, involved in the development of intra cellular Matthew uh, virus, thus preventing the departure of the particles from the infected uh, cell. This may remind you of the uh, attachment uh, of the emerging uh, or the seizure of the... the uh, okay, we'll remove this part of it. Well, this uh, shows the structure of uh, uh, two BRAF, uh, uh, BRAF anti BRAF mutated uh, uh, melanoma uh, cases. One of them, the first one involving uh, MEC. And uh, you remember to say, how do you differentiate this with the, the names? They are both involved, perhaps, if the detector 
directly involves the gap without the need for M M M M K for that inhibiting M M K. Then uh, it contains the uh, infix gap, and if it is not does not give it, if it is a normal irregular tyrosine kinase, then they will have the uh, stem tenib as uh, usual. Here we have two tenibs used for the management of uh, non small cell lung ca cancer. Uh, one involves, uh, invo involves inhibition of EGFR, and the other one. The other one involved the inhibition of uh, ALK and ROS1. Uh, uh, now, both of them are tenebs, and this is indication. Okay, how do we know that it, 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 this mutation is taking place? And it means that these compounds of these presentations would need a companion diagnostic that's approved by the, uh, the regulatory. Uh, uh, or other regulatory uh, agency, uh, a, a, a diagnostic that would um, would analyze for the uh, mutations involved in in this AGFR or Alcantaros uh, uh, components of the uh, drug. Well, these uh, five drugs co consisting of a antiviral uh, compound, uh, two tenebs, and for the management of cancer, and two other compounds for the management of certain types of cancer. One is uh, isostrate dehydrogenase, as we can tell modulator, as we can tell from the INN name, and the other is a PAGIB, uh, as we tell from, uh, as we can tell from its INN uh, name. Now, this antiviral compound, or, or sorry, or, all, all of these compounds contain a fluorinated uh, aromatic nucleus, uh, which doesn't mean much in terms of uh, pharmacological activity and therapeutic activity, as, indica as, as uh, indicated by their uh, uh, INN names, uh, show, uh, referring to uh, various uh, types of, uh, of activities. Now, we'll have to uh, figure out that this compound is a prodrug. And then the term marboxyl is INN image for the uh, for this type of derivatives, and it is a prodrug. Then we can write, or we should be able to write, a balanced chemical equation showing how the drug is uh, released and how this group is uh, degraded when this drug is prodrug is released to produce the active constituent. Now, this shows the mode of action of uh, valoxavir used for the management of uh, influenza, A and B virus infection, through an innovative steps, which is called the cap snatching, necessary for the takeover of the viral ma machinery of the takeover by the viral machinery uh, over of the host's uh, uh, tr transcription system for the production and accordingly if this cap snatching process is stopped this means that the uh, virus cannot take over the production of the cell manager to produce uh, its viral uh, proteins and accordingly it will stop its fabrication at this crucial step. So this is a new mode or mechanism of action of this uh, influenza virus, which may remind us of the mode of action of uh, oseltamivir uh, for used to manage the H5N1 uh, flu. 
and uh, which is involved takes place by a different step which is after uh, infection of the host cell then the process of viral release is prevented because uh, because the virus cannot leave as shown in, in the next slide This shows the uh, mode of action or mechanism of action of oseltamivir inside H5N1 uh, cell. The final step of the release probe, the release of the viral from the host cell is halted by uh, this compound. Accordingly, the newly viral virulins formed are cannot be uh, cannot infect uh, another uh, cell host cell. Okay. All this uh, new TNIP, which is called a new class called the tissue agonists, because it uh, can be used for any any NTRK positive solid tumors, irrespective of their uh, location and uh, NTRKR, the cell is overexpressing growth. It can be suppressed, uh, suppressed via the TR manipulation of the different TRK uh, case, A, B, and uh, C, as shown in red. Another TNIP uh, used for the management of immune thrombocytopenic aurora via <coughs> inhibition of SYK. Uh, uh, okay, now we see so many TNIPs and they are used for various indications. How this is decided? It is decided via uh, clinical trials. Uh, going through the different phases of clinical trials from phase zero to phase uh, three. And then the market authorization is issued and then we, they carry out the uh, phase four uh, clinical uh, trial. Now uh, how we, uh, here we have two or more uh, Antineoplastic uh, compounds. First one is uh, isostrate dehydrogenase, and the second one is a uh, barib. Now, these are used for different indications. For the, the IDH modulator is used for the management of IDH1 mutated acute myelogenous uh, myeloid leukemia. And the second one would involve the certain type of uh, breast cancer in terms of BRCA and L, uh, two uh, components of the of the cancerous uh, cell, as of course in each case determined by a, a regulatory authority approved companion diagnostic to indicate this type of mutation uh, or uh, the detection of BRCA or HER of a given patient. And in a, in a thus illustrating uh, individualized therapy and precision. These are two drugs used for the management of thrombocytopenia. Uh, as uh, this compound from the INN name, we can figure out this type of indication from the infect thrombo uh, in the name, and then we have to figure out the the significance of the end uh, stem uh, bag of this uh, of this uh, compound. Here we have two drugs, uh, 
acting for acting against uh, acute malignant leukemia by two different pathways. Uh, the first one is the hedgehog uh, pathway inhibitor, which is characterized by the INN infix D GIB for IB for inhibitor and DEG for the hedgehog uh, pathway. And the second uh, subtype of AML, uh, which is FMS like tyrosine uh, kinase uh, or the, this kind of TPIB, which is, uh, which it gained a breakthrough status by the regulatory uh, agency. Now here we have the TINIB uh, and uh, Phosphonistide uh, 3 kinase and a potassium channel block. <clears throat> now, uh, this is a tinib, which is actually a, most tinibs are used, of, are used to manage certain cancers, but some of them are also used to manage rheumatic arthritis, where this is one of them. This might remind you of this class of uh, TNIPs, which is being in, in, in investigated to manage the cytokine storm associated with COVID-19. We'll get to that <coughs> when we look uh, into the uh, <coughs> uh, COVID-19 investigational uh, drugs. The uh, LICIP. Uh, which is an inhibitor of phosphorylated uh, kinase and uh, uh, used for the management of uh, this type uh, types of lymphomas and the potassium channel for the management of uh, this myotonic uh, syn uh, syndrome, particularly for pediatric use. Now I have the three, uh, the three uh, drugs. Uh, Lofixidine, we covered that already when we talked about opioid withdrawal during the forensic chemistry course. And uh, you may remind yourself of the similarity, structural similarity to clonidine, which is, can be used and is used in certain countries for the same uh, the same indication, both being an alpha to adrenoceptor uh, agonist. The second drug is procalopride, uh, which is uh, actually uh, used to manage chronic idiopathic concentration. This reminds you of the gastroprocardic agency surprise, which you had covered already in this chemistry and pharmacology uh, courses, it is it still acts on the same 5-HT4 receptor antagonist and accordingly used for to manage chronic uh, idiopathic uh, constipation. Well, the third example is a LAMA. What, what are LAMA? Long-acting muscarinic uh, antagonist, uh, antagonists used to manage COPD. This may, may remind you of LABA, so the long-acting uh, beta uh, modulators used for the management of the same uh, indication. Now this uh, coming slide, five slides from <clears throat> number 34 or 43 up to 48 to provide a full list of the FDA drugs approved uh, during the calendar year uh, 2018, uh, pointing towards the, uh, the breakthrough uh, designation and providing the abbreviations, the indicative of, uh, of showing the meaning of all the abbreviations that show in uh, these uh, lists. We are not going to talk about these. Some of these are not covered in the previous lectures, 
but these are the repetition of uh, sort of uh, replicates of other uh, drugs which we already covered in other courses and it is not difficult to uh, to find out their mechanism of action and indication. The next five slides uh, show the rest of the drugs that we, uh, we didn't cover them all, but most of the other, which most of the, of these compounds, which are not inclu included in a, each of, which is not included in a, separate uh, slide show uh, you can deduce the, their mode of action because mostly they have small molecules similar to other ones. Other, others which need, uh, which need an illustration and explanation will be provided by a separate slide for each. Well, this slide uh, provides a comeback to the one of the highlights uh, of the highlights of the calendar year uh, 2018 uh, drugs, uh, namely those that are used as preventive therapy for the man against uh, big gain. Uh, we all already know that we are using triptans to manage migraine currently. Well, triptans act via uh, preventing the release or retarding, actually, the release of the calcitonin gene-related peptide. Uh, uh, and accordingly, this year, it was introduced the, the, these three maps for the introduction uh, for the uh, three maps to manage migraine via the uh, modulation of the, calci uh, the calcitonin uh, gene-related uh, peptides. One of these is a human, human and fully human, and the other two are humanized, and they vary from each other that or, or the th three of them uh, that all, all of the, all the three of them are covered, are uh, can, given by injection using an auto injector, uh, a monthly injection. However, the the second drug, uh, the human, the humanized uh, drug, is also available as a quarterly uh, inj injection. Well, this uh, illustrates the uh, mechanism of action of, of, of the first uh, humanized, fully humanized, actually, IgG2 monoclonal antibody, Irinumab, for the management of uh, migraine, actually, by being antagonizing this action and thus preventing the impulse that leads to the migraine. Uh, Formation. Uh, the green, uh, green, uh, green. Well, uh, this is an illustrative example of the introduction of uh, some new technologies that will help compliance, especially in the elderly people suffering from schizophrenia who cannot uh, adhere uh, to the proper, um, the proper medication, which in this case it is a, a pill uh, containing the API agapeprazole. Uh, the pill, uh, the capsule, the digital pill uh, incorporates a micro uh, sensor, uh, micro sensor which is activated when it comes in contact with the gastric fluid. Thus, which is a bimetal sensor, 
which sends a message to a patch that's run by the patient. And the, the, the patch then transmits a message to a mobile application so that so the patient can track the ingestion of the medication on their smart, uh, smart form. And this in turn is an application to send, to send a signal to the uh, clinician monitoring uh, the uh, case. And when this reminds you of the use of uh, a pro drug of Aripiprazole, which is, which is given every four or six weeks instead of have using the regular Aripiprazole uh, day. Well, this is a, a map, uh, in this case, a fully humanized map used for the management of X-linked hypophosphatemia, which is a gene disorder. And accordingly, it is the uh, presentations occur with a very small number of uh, patients occur in an orphan status and a breakthrough. Uh, situation by blocking the effect, the action of FGF23 uh, resulting in this uh, hypophosphatemia. Uh, this shows uh, illustrates the action uh, how <clears throat> how this uh, uh, bureau uh, works in order to offset the observed hypophosphatemia uh, via the uh, suppressing the heightened activity of fibroblast cross factor uh, 23 or FGF 23. Start, uh, starting from uh, this slide and uh, which is which is detailed in the next four slides show the oncology drugs as they, uh, as they are classified according to the particular organ and subtype of each, uh, of each type of cancer shown and where, is the, where, where it acts, its mode of action, its target, and as well as if it needs a companion diagnostic uh, uh, indicating particular mutations. Similarly, in the following uh, tables and the, these four five or five slides show the uh, all types of uh, oncology and hematology cancer uh, drugs, uh, showing which of them is new and uh, that's an NDA, which of them is a uh, line extension, which is a, the, them is a uh, biosimilar in case of NABs or therapeutic proteins and also if it needs a, a companion diagnostic for uh, a practice of the precision uh, medicine. Well, this is the only inorganic compound introduced uh, during 2018. And uh, zirconium <clears throat> uh, cyclosilicate or uh, ZS9, we'll have to know that there are something around a dozen uh, zirconium uh, cyclosilicate that differ from each other in their degree of selectivity uh, towards different uh, uh, cations. 
this uh, the, the, the ZS9 uh, is sort of uh, characteristic or specific for potassium, uh, depending on the size and uh, diameter of the pores in this uh, ZS uh, uh, line, which would vary from one element to another, as shown by potassium, sodium, and uh, calcium in terms of the diameter of the cell and the type of linkage with the different uh, silicon and uh, zirconium and silicate uh, uh, atoms in this structure. Uh, it's used in the management of hyperkalemia uh, <clears throat> by sequestering uh, this uh, the uh, potassium and uh, accordingly lower its level from the by absorbing from the gastrointestinal uh, intestinal tract and uh, uh, with, uh, it, it would vary from sodium to potassium to uh, sodium to potassium to calcium according to the degree of binding of these of these compounds. We have to get uh, to get yourself acquainted with the use the utilization of milli equivalents rather than milligram or mass values for the different uh, different. Uh, uh, elements uh, in doing clinical uh, analysis. <clears throat> now this uh, your first introduction to fusion uh, protein where the INN uh, system uh, they end with the fuse fuse part means fusion P for protein and uh, it is, in this case, it is a CD123 uh, directed cytotoxin infusion with a protein com comprised of recombinant human interleukin 3 and truncated or shortened diphtheria toxin. Now, the, the, this compound, is a, which is a fusion, as I said, it's a fusion protein of the interleukin-3, the interleukin IL-3, fused with the diphtheria toxin, the fusion protein readily kills cultured pla plasma cytoid dendritic cells by binding to their IL-3 receptor to the, and thereby gain entrance to the cells and then blocking these cells, cell, cells protein synthesis due to its diphtheria toxin portion, inhibiting a eukaryotic elongation uh, factor. <clears throat> it had a breakthrough designation. Now, this is an example of uh, enzyme uh, th therapy. In this case, we have uh, asparaginase, which we uh, Derivative of pigylated asparaginase, which we covered already in the undergraduate uh, courses as the treatment of uh, certain uh, cancers. This is a pigylated one for those who cannot or do have a sensitivity to the use of asparaginase itself. Uh, <clears throat> Now, it is the, this is the structure of aspar asparaginase, and uh, it is a pigylated in nine residues at pigylated out of the 23, consisting of 1L and 22K uh, residues. Used to the management uh, on acute lymphoma, leukemia, and and also acute myeloid uh, leukemia as well as Hodgkin's uh, lymphoma. Here we have some elaboration on the uh, uh, attributes of uh, this uh, drug. Uh, we will have to observe that whenever we find the uh, uh, peg. Uh, three letters of peg, whether at the beginning, 
but at the end of the, the middle of a, a name, this means that it is a pre-correlated uh, to that. Well, this is another enzyme. In this case, it is a pre-correlated uh, one used for the for a genetic disease of the shoulder, ADA skid, the adenosine deaminase, uh, severe combined immunodeficiency. Uh, it is uh, now we say the whenever we see the uh, these three letters P E G whether at the before the name of a drug within the name of a drug or at the end of the name of the drug then we know this we are talking about a pink related uh, compound uh, compound and. Uh, uh, and this is another example of this class of these drugs. You know already the advantages of uh, uh, p in, in drug uh, therapy. This slide is just showing the IP aspects of commercial criteria. If you might unlock uh, the head uh, and uh, document. وهذا يبين المسؤولية القانونية بالنسبة لهذا الكتاب أو publications arising from it شكرا ويبقى لنا الجزء الثالث من من هاتين المحاضرتين week 11 and week 12 we spent about to about uh, the two hours and 20 minutes out of the four hours for week 11 and week uh, 12 uh, lectures. The remaining part, along with the COVID investigational uh, drug presentation, will be uploaded uh, soon. Thank you.